COVID in Colorado now and a huge new update on vaccine accessibility. Come Friday, any adult in the state who wants a vaccine will be able to request one. Cardio News Channel 13's Chase Golightly joins us live with what this means for our return to normalcy and whether El Paso County is ready to handle the massive influx of vaccine seekers. Chase. Heather, starting this Friday, all Coloradans 16 years and older will be able to sign up to get the vaccine. However, those in this current phase, like essential workers at grocery stores like this one right behind me, or Colorado's high risk population, will still be placed at a higher priority. Meaning, even though you'll be able to get the vaccine, it doesn't mean you're going to be getting it right away. The finish line is finally in sight for Coloradans. Anybody can access uh, the life-saving, uh, highly effective, safe vaccine starting this Friday, April 2nd. But the governor was also quick to add a caveat. Being eligible for the vaccine is not the same as the state having enough to distribute right away. We still anticipate by mid to late May, so that's only less than two months, six to eight weeks from now, everybody who wants the vaccine will have had the vaccine. El Paso County Commissioner Stan Vanderwerf says the Pikes Peak region is ready to meet the challenge. We've actually been planning for this for some time, and there actually are a total of 98 locations in El Paso County that citizens can go to to get their vaccine. That includes pharmacies, hospitals, and mass vaccination clinics. But what about the vaccine shortfall that 13 investigates uncovered? When El Paso County was not receiving the doses, it was promised at the beginning of this rollout. Commissioner Vanderwerf says that situation is improving. So that's still an issue, but the state has stepped up and the gap, the shortfall that we were very concerned about, it has been closed. As for a timeline of when Colorado could return to some sort of new normal, Governor Polis hopes that will happen by the end of summer. By July, we should have broad, widespread immunity across the population. And another reminder from the governor. Just because we're close to the end of the pandemic that has taken over our lives for more than a year does not mean we can let up on precautions. We are not through this. There's enough people that haven't been vaccinated and haven't had it where there absolutely could be another increase. Uh, the projections all show that it's up to us to prevent that. The next step Colorado is waiting for is for vaccine approval for 12 to 15 year olds. Governor Pohl is hoping that age group will be able to get vaccinated in the summer so then they can return to in-person learning this fall. Reporting live in Colorado Springs tonight, Chase Golightly, KRDO News Channel 13. All right.